Aya, Hot Pie, and Gendry continue traveling to Riverrun. They are eventually captured by the Brotherhood without banners, who mistake them for war refugees. They are taken to a local inn where they are fed. Just as they are about to leave, Sandor Clegane is brought in as a captive. Despite trying to stay out of his sight, Clegane spots Aya and reveals her true identity. Hot Pie stays behind to work at the inn while Gendry and Aya are taken to the commander of the Brotherhood at their hideout in the Riverlands. When Clegane is brought before Lord Berwick, she accuses him of the murder of Micah. During the trial by combat ordered by Berwick, Aya heartily calls out for Clegane's death, but ultimately the Hound overpowers and kills Dondarrion, who is then resurrected by the Red Priest Thoros of Mir. As the victor, the Hound is declared innocent and released, much to Arya's disgust. Later, Aya questions Gendry for repairing Dondarrion's armor and tries to get him to come with her and fight for her brother. Gendry says he's tired of serving lords and wishes to fight to protect the small folk and join the Brotherhood, in which all members are equal, comparing them to a family. Aya, sadly, chokes out she could be his family. Gendry gently points out that if he goes with her they'd never be family, he'd still be a commoner and Aya would be, milady. As Thoros lays by a fire, Aya whispers her death list prayer. Thoros reveals they will take her to Riverrun to her family, in exchange for a reward for their cause. Aya points out she is being ransomed. Thoros admits it, and that Beric would like to return her to her family without any ransom out of respect for the memory of her father, but they need the gold. Beric joins them and points out he understands she is angry with him for releasing the hound. Aya asks why he would release a man who nearly killed him, only for Dondarrion and Thoros to reveal Beric was actually killed but was resurrected by the Lord of Light, showing her the lethal injuries he sustained at the hands of Lannister soldiers, including Gregor Clegane. Aya asks Thoros if he could resurrect a man without a head. Both men understand she's talking about her father and tell her they're not sure it would be possible. Beric then reveals that with each time he's been resurrected he's been losing memories and adds that Ned Stark was a good man whom he admired, but he wouldn't wish his life upon Ned. Aya answers that she would, for he would at least be alive. Angai trains Aya with a bow. Aya spots someone behind her target, which is revealed to be Melisandre and a small group of Stannis Baratheon's men. Melisandre says the Brotherhood has someone the Lord of Light needs and soon after, Melisandre has her men take Gendry into her custody. Aya protests, particularly when she sees that Melisandre has given the Brotherhood two heavy sacks of gold in exchange. She confronts the Red Priestess, calling her a witch. Melisandre ignores the barb and looks into Arya's eyes. She sees many other eyes, of many other colors, eyes that Aya will shut forever. Before leaving, she tells Aya that they will meet again. Later at the hideout, Aya is disillusioned with the Brotherhood for selling Gendry, and rejects Dondarrion's argument that it was the will of the one true god, revealing the only one true god she believes in is death. When Dondarrion decides to postpone delivering Aya to Riverrun to raid a group of Lannister soldiers for their armor and weapons, Aya angrily calls them out on their hypocrisy and runs away, hoping the Lannister soldiers will kill them all. She evades the Brotherhood but before she gets too far, she is kidnapped by Sandor Clegane, who was lying in wait for her. Some time later, now a captive of the Hound, Aya picks up a rock and stands over the Hound planning to strike. She thinks he is sound asleep, but he opens his eyes and tells her she has one chance to hit him and kill him, because if she fails, he will break her hands. Later she sits on the horse with him sullen and refusing food he offers her. Sandor points out that for all she hates him, Aya could have been taken captive by far worse. He tells her the story of Sansa and how he rescued her from the mob, men who were going to rape her in every way then slit her throat and leaving her to die. Aya says he's lying, but Sandor says, ask your sister, if you ever see her again. They continue onward across the meadows and arrive at a river, which Aya initially thinks is the Blackwater. Rather confused with her lack of understanding, he tells her it is the Red Fork of the Trident. Aya had believed the Hound was taking her back to King's Landing, but he reveals that he is in fact taking her to the twins, intending to get a reward by ransoming her back to her family. The marriage of her uncle is imminent, and both her brother and her mother will be there at the twins. He tells her ruefully that if she was not so busy trying to bash his skull in, they might make it in time for the wedding. Aya hides a smile, as the Hound spurs the horse to a gallop. On the way to the twins, Aya and Sandor come across a hog farmer, 
who is also going to the twins for the wedding, but his wagon is damaged. Sandor lifts the wagon, the hog farmer repairs it, then Sandor punches him and knocks him unconscious. Sandor draws a dagger to kill the hog farmer, but Arya begs him not to, and he relents. The hog farmer wakes up, and Arya knocks him out again with another blow to the head. They arrive in the area of the twins, and Arya nervously gazes toward the start camp. Sandor tells Arya that she is visibly afraid that something may happen to ruin her reunion with her family. Arya tells Sandor that he was visibly afraid of Beric Dondarrion's flaming sword, and that she knows what Sandor's brother did to him when they were children. Sandor taunts Arya about the execution of her father, then Arya tells Sandor one day she will stab him through his eye and out the back of his skull. Arya and Sandor arrive at the gates of the twins, in disguise as a hog farmer and his daughter. Sandor tells a fray guard they have salt pork for the wedding feast, but the guard tells them the feast is over and orders them to leave. Arya then runs away from Sandor and hides near a table of Stark soldiers. Suddenly, soldiers come out of the castle and murder the Stark men. Arya hears Grey Wind howling inside a wooden cage, but four crossbowmen come out of the castle and murder the direwolf before she can release him. After the crossbowmen leave, Arya attempts to enter the castle, but is stopped by Sandor, who says that it is too late to do anything. Arya struggles to get into the castle anyway, so Sandor knocks her unconscious and carries her away, realizing that any attempt to intervene at this point would be suicide. Sandor mounts his horse with her, and picks up a fray banner for their safety as he tries to slip away through the chaos. They both witness Frey and Bolton soldiers parading her brother's mutilated corpse, with the head of Grey Wind attached to her brother's body. Arya and Sandor then flee the castle on horseback while the Stark army is massacred during the Red Wedding. While riding to destinations unknown, Arya and Sandor come across a group of four Frey soldiers eating at a campfire. They are mocking the death of Arya's mother, while one of the soldiers describes the process of sewing Grey Wind's head onto Rob Stark's dead body. Arya then dismounts from Sandor's horse and slowly walks up behind the soldier. He turns around and asks her what she wants, and she says she wants to keep warm and is hungry. The soldiers rudely tell her to go away, then she says she has money, and shows them the Bravosi coin given to her by Jack and Hagar. She purposely drops the coin, and when the soldier bends down to pick it up, she repeatedly stabs him in the back of the neck with a knife. The other three men draw their weapons, but Sandor appears and kills all three with ease. Sandor asks Aya how she got a knife, and she says she took it from him. Sandor asks if that was the first man she has ever killed, and Aya confirms, the first man, not counting the stable boy in King's Landing. As Sandor helps himself to the soldier's dinner, Aya picks up the coin with her bloodied fingers and whispers, Valor Morgulis.